in just a second. I was just, I'm gonna go live here. Hey guys, uh, we are down here at Legacy Salmon Creek in Vancouver, Washington, where a patient is being held against her will because she will not COVID test. Uh, if you could get this message out, please. We're in Vancouver, Washington. We need all hands on deck and people to come down here. We have a patient being held against her will and um, because she will not COVID test. So I'll wait for some more people to come on and then I'll give an update of what's going on here. Share this on social media, get the message out there. Um, the police are, are on their way. We have called the sheriff multiple times asking for help and he would not respond and come and help us until um, the hospital called and now they are now the police are on their way. Um, we are in Clark County, Washington at Legacy Salmon Creek. We need everybody to get down here. Legacy Salmon Creek Hospital at the emergency room. Um, one of our local area four women, um, Satin, admitted her mom here last night because she was being, um, she was feeling dizzy and she had low blood pressure. Um, they would, she has a brain tumor, so her mom, um, lives with satin and satin has power of attorney and she is also her licensed care provider and she has medical power of attorney so her mom was admitted here last night at salmon creek and they said she had a uti and they were going to give her fluids and keep her overnight satin came back today to see her mom who has no symptoms or signs of COVID or anything else. She just has a UTI and she had low blood pressure last night, um, which is normal for her, but because of her UTI, she needed to be admitted for fluids. So she's been in here 24 hours now and Satin came to see her and they said that she cannot see her because she's refusing to take a COVID test. Her mom wants to be discharged and the hospital is not letting her leave. They've now put her on oxygen and they said that they have not even tested to see if she needs oxygen. It's just something that common they do when somebody's on fluids. I'm sorry, I've had four babies, never was put on oxygen because I needed fluids, okay? So the mother, uh, the daughter is here satin to take her mother out of the hospital and the hospital has locked all of their doors. They're refusing to let the mother leave. They're refusing to let her advocate, which is her daughter, go in and be with her. Again, the mother uh, has a UTI. She is 74 years old. Her name is Gail Meyer. If you can call Salmon Creek Legacy and please, please, please tell them to discharge Gail Miner. I'm sorry, Meyer, M-A-Y-E-R. She needs to be released immediately. They're not letting um, her, they're not letting her um, be discharged. She wants to be discharged and they are refusing to let her be discharged. And now the police are on their way and we are being blocked from all, all ways of sending out this call to action. So if you can get down here, please. It's been very, very heated at moments. We need this woman to be discharged. She's being held against her will for a UTI. And they have now placed her on oxygen and she does not need to be on oxygen. She was admitted because she had a UTI last night and they put her on fluids. She's 74 years old and she wants to go home and they will not let her go home. And they are quarantining her because she will not test for COVID. So they will not let her daughter, who is her um, power of attorney, they will not let her go in and, and be with her. So I'm gonna turn this around again. We're here at uh, Legacy Salmon Creek in the emergency room. Here we are at the emergency room. We've got about 20 people here with us. And uh, we, want, we want Gail to be discharged immediately. They will not let her daughter, this is her daughter here, Satin. She's been a part of our People's Rights Area 4 meetings for the last year. She's on the phone with nurses. Um, they will not let um, Satin go and see her mother. And uh, they will not let... Hey, woman. Hello. They will not let uh, her be discharged. They are refusing. You want more people? Sorry, we're coming. So anyway, they have the um, facility locked down. They've got security now at every entrance. They are refusing to let this woman fill out uh, discharge papers for her mother. She has been at this for hours now. We've called the sheriff asking for help in Clark County um, and not gotten any help there, but now they've called the sheriff. So now all of a sudden the sheriff is going to come. So again, we're down here with a good group of people, but if you can put the call out, 
and please get more people to to show up. Um, Gail needs to be released, Gail Meyer. And um, at this time, the 80123 number is not letting us send out any text messages. So don't know what's going on, but it seems like uh, potentially maybe the uh, phone providers have gotten together and stopped allowing the text to be sent out. So we can't do a call to action that way. So if you can please, please, please share this on social media. Um, especially anybody in the Washington area. We're at Legacy Salmon Creek, Legacy Salmon Creek in Vancouver, Washington. And we are trying to get a patient discharge that they're holding against her will because she will not take a COVID test. She was admitted last night with a UTI. That is all she has. She was given fluids and told to stay for the night and take an antibiotic and she could go home. And now because she has refused to test, they are holding her against her will and they are not letting her, her daughter, who is her medical power of attorney, they will not let her daughter see her. This mother has um, a brain tumor from about 20 years ago that she had um, removed, but not all of it was removed. So she gets a little spacey and forgetful. And she is being held inside this hospital against her will because she will not take a COVID test and her daughter is not being allowed to come. That We're in Vancouver, Washington. Um, if you guys can please get this message out there and get people to show up and, um, and make sure that we're able to see justice today, which would be somebody being able to leave the hospital if they wanna leave the hospital and not being held against their will because they will not take a COVID test. This is disgusting, America. This is so wicked. And so we need people down here, please, send a message out if you can send it out on facebook we're at legacy salmon creek vancouver washington we need all hands on deck to get satin's mother discharged who they are holding against her will she has no signs of any illness or sickness she was feeling faint and dizzy last night and she called 911 satin called 911 and they said that she was um, needing fluids and that she had a uti and that's it and now she is being held here against her will. So the sheriffs are here. This is insane, you guys. She came here for help last night. No, the sheriff's here. There's a couple. One, they'll probably go around the back first to talk to the hospital. Yeah, even though we're the ones who called. No. Or knowing anything. No. Come on. Stand back from the doors, guys. Okay, stay in here, guys. So they don't. No. We need medical discharge papers. That's all we need. Okay. Okay. So, so she doesn't get a voice. He has the power of attorney. She has a brain. She has. She has a brain tumor. Yeah, the sheriff. I'll go and film you guys. We well, the rest of you. Look at this. Holy cow! Are you freaking kidding me? Look at this show of force. Why is the sheriff in there with them? Why are they all in there with them when we called them? Can somebody? We called the sheriff, and they're standing in there. We called you. This is insane. We called you. We called you twice. And you guys didn't come for us. No, they're in there now showing what side they're on. This is insane. We're at Leg Legacy Salmon Creek, Vancouver, Washington. The sheriff, we called and the sheriff said to me that they would not respond. They would not respond. And then the hospital called, so now they came. And I was on the phone with the dispatch and I said, we need a deputy here right away. They will not let this mother, this person leave. They said, I'm sorry, the sergeant from Clark County Sheriff's Department, the sergeant said, we're not responding. Oh my 
And then she said, I'm sorry, wait, hold on a minute. Okay, it sounds like the hospital is now calling. We will be sending people out there. Because all they are is the hired security guards for the for the establishment. That's what they are. They're not following their constitutional obligations at all. We are at Legacy in Salmon Creek, you guys. We need people down here. We need a patient is being held against her will because she did not take a COVID test. And then they turned and said, well, we tested her anyway, and now she has to be here 24 hours till we have the results. And then they told the daughter a little bit ago, no, we didn't test her. We're quarantining her because she wouldn't test. So they're going back and forth on whether or not she was tested. They won't say she came here for a UTI. She is not needing any medical help. They put her on fluids for her UTI. And the mother wants to go home. She's 74 years old and she wants to go home. And they said it's not her choice, it's up to the doctor, and the doctor is not letting her go home until she either tests or has a negative COVID test. This is insane, you guys. This is insane. This is totally freaking wicked. We need people down here, please. Legacy Salmon Creek is where we are. Okay, we need more people down here, guys. Yeah, we need more people. This is not, we're not leaving here without Gail. We're not leaving without we're Gail. Leaving without Gail. We're not leaving without our mother. Don't even think it about it. We're not leaving without our patient. Please get this shared, you guys, around on social media and in the Telegram yes, platforms. Please, I'm not online right now. Can you get this shared in People's Rights Washington on Telegram? Somebody so that our people know the text system has been restricted and the phone companies are not letting us send out our texts. I need you, somebody, to get this to People's Rights Washington in Telegram. Please. So, which she does not need oxygen. She's never been on oxygen before and they put her on oxygen. This is insane. Um, Gail's daughter, who's power attorney, and her caregiver. Power of attorney is trying to release her mother, and they're saying without a negative COVID test, she cannot go see her or release her. Legacy Salmon Creek, Vancouver, Washington. Please, somebody go to People's Rights Washington on Telegram. We've got a patient being held against her will because she doesn't have a negative COVID test. They will not release her. She was admitted last night with a UTI. Power of attorney is here. She's 74 years old. Her power of attorney is here and they will not let the daughter take her mother home. Got cops everywhere. The sheriff is not responding for us, but they'll stand in there and respond for the hospital. Please, everybody call Legacy Salmon Creek. Please call the numbers and whatever number you find and say you need to release Gail Meyer. Release Gail Meyer, please, right now. Legacy Salmon Creek, Vancouver, Washington. Just Google it, guys. It'll just take you, it'll just take a second. Um, somebody does, or maybe I have it in my pocket. I think I have it. No? Um, I think I gave it to Satin. No? Wait, here's another phone. There we go. Oh, it's still nope, recording. It's still recording. Woo. Oh. Sorry, that was long. Yeah, the police officer, because I wouldn't give her my last name, but told me who they want to talk to. Oh, you have to identify yourself just to talk to a police officer now? Where I don't have the number. Do you have it? Yes. 360. Somebody type this in. 487. 1000. 1000. Legacy Salmon Creek. Look at them. Look at them all standing there guarding the guarding the hospital, guarding the private establishment, right? Because that's what this is. It's just a we're not leaving without Gail, you guys. We're not leaving without her. You need to discharge the patient who wants to go home. We're not leaving without Gail. So 
if you guys can start commenting I can't see comments in here on my phone and comment uh, the phone number here to Legacy Salmon Creek Vancouver Washington and um, we need more people here I don't know we're up to maybe 50 people here but we need more um, they're not releasing a patient because she doesn't have a negative COVID test. She was admitted last night with a UTI. The daughter came back today to get her and they said that, um, Don't let Satin be where is Satin? You guys stay in, inside there. They said that she couldn't, um, come see her mom today because she, she tested for COVID and she didn't have the results back, but she was not supposed to be tested. Um, I know, I'm sad that I've had to stand out here for the last hour. We got Sheriff Ogden and Sheriff Sheriff What are your guys' badge numbers? I know, badge numbers are easier too, though, to remember. What is it? I know, but you're supposed to release your badge number. That's what gets. Okay, sorry. Oh, no, no. Can you give me your badge number, please? You're supposed to give us your badge number, sir. I'm so floored. They will not let Gail leave. Unbelievable. Her daughter came to be with her today because she has a brain tumor and she can't be in the hospital alone. She doesn't even have the time know if she has to use the bathroom or not. And they would not let her daughter go see her because they said she needed to be quarantined because yep. she didn't have a negative COVID test. That's then they right. told her that they tested her and she had to be quarantined until the results came back. And then they told her, no, we didn't test her. She just has to be quarantined because she won't test. And all the while, the police go up and spend time with her and ask her questions. The doctors are talking to her and they will not let they will not let the daughter, who is the power of medical let, power let of attorney, who is the medical power of attorney, you they will not let, let her go through. up and see her mom and talk Careful. to her. They're literally holding her against her will over her. the fake COVID <laughs> garbage <laughs> medical <laughs> kidnap. They will not let Gail Meyer needs to be released. You put that the power of attorney needs to be let in the hospital. Can't you guys figure that out? Let the power of attorney inside. This is not okay. You guys can visit the mom, but not her, her daughter with the power of attorney? Let her in! I want my mom, and I want to be able to see her. Let you can see her. Where's the hospital administrator? Where's the 
afraid to go in. She is the power of attorney. Her mother was admitted last night for a UTI. They will not let Satin back in to now see her because the mother has not taken a COVID test. Satin tried to get in to see her mother and they just grabbed her by the throat and threw her back. Then they maced Patrick and the rest of us at the front door. This is absolute bullshit, America, because they say that the, the mother who is here for a UTI at 74 years old and needs to be released to go home cannot leave because she won't take a COVID test. America, is this the country you want for your children? Then one of the nurses tells Satin, no, we actually tested her. We won't have results back for 24 hours. That's why she's now being quarantined. She's not even here for any flu-like symptoms. She's here because she had a UTI last night. This is at Legacy Salmon Creek in Vancouver, Washington, where the police just maced us, grabbed people by their necks. A mother, the woman who has the power of attorney over the patient, they won't even let her in to do a well check on her. They won't let her in to talk to her at all. And instead they mace us like a bunch of freaking cowards. Cause that's all they are, is cowards. Please, you guys get people down here. I don't even know what to do. This poor woman just wants to take her mother home. She's 74 years old and was admitted for a freaking UTI last night. And now this, and now this, this is insane. This is like our entire freaking sheriff's department here because somebody wants to be released from the hospital. She has a UTI and she wants to go home and they won't let her. And that's why you were called, do you care? They won't let the power of attorney go in and be with her 74 year old mom. She wants to discharge her. And they said, no. Down here hanging out, you know, doing our thing. By the way, this is medical kidnapping that you have witnessed tonight. Medical kidnapping. Yep, Thank that's right. Here at the emergency and, room. And complete tyranny from the sheriff. Complete tyranny. Oh, breakthrough. breakthrough. Yep. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Kelly. How are you? Good day to be an American, isn't it? It's a fine day to be an American. <laughs> it's crazy. Isn't this crazy? This is what happens if you say no in America. It's freaking nuts. Nuts. Like he grabbed her by the throat and threw, yeah. So we still have like gazillion police here. Um, we're being told that she is being released. Um, they're saying they're gonna release her into a room. I hope this really shames and embarrasses Clark County sheriff's department um like this just shows an extraordinary budget that they have to respond this way and it also shows how many of them are like jacked up and ready for riots they're out here watching me like what is she doing what am i doing is i'm photographing and documenting how psychotic you are that's what i'm doing i am documenting how psychotic our police force is 